Hello everyone, welcome back to The Mighty Blues. Just wanted to do another little video. Um, obviously, I don't usually do a third video after the game. We've done the instant match reaction, we've done the play ratings, but I'm sure you've all seen that Leighton Baines has announced his retirement from football. Evan announced it just after the game. And I'm absolutely gutted, to be perfectly honest with you. I wanted to do a little video just to say thank you to Leighton Baines. And I know we probably won't watch this, but I think I speak on behalf of every Evertonian. And I don't speak on behalf of every Evertonian, but I think I do in saying that. Thank you so much for everything that you have given to this football club. 13 years of service, 420 appearances, 39 goals and 67 assists in an Everton shirt. You truly have been the best left-back that the Premier League has ever seen. That left-hand side partnership with Leighton Baines and Stephen Pienaar was better than any partnership I've ever seen in an Everton shirt. And, you know, it really, really is disappointing that um, you know, we won't be seeing Leighton Baines in an Everton shirt ever again. And, you know, it's even more disappointing that the last time he appeared in a game for Everton was that absolutely atrocious defeat today. You know, I would have thought that he would have maybe have been given the start. Um, but before the game, you know, the Echo published an article which stated that Everton this morning was still very much trying to convince Leighton Baines to sign the new contract. Carlo Ancelotti spoke about how he wants to keep Leighton Baines at the football club and ideally that would have been playing. So maybe Leighton Baines didn't decide to take that decision until, you know, after the game. Maybe he spoke to uh, Carlo Ancelotti after the final whistle and said, yeah, look, I I'm going to retire. And that's when the decision was made. You know, we don't know. But one thing for sure is that Leighton Baines has not only been a fantastic servant for Everton Football Club, but he has been an Everton legend in 13 years that he's been here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, don't get it twisted, sorry, Leighton Baines could have easily fucked off and gone to play for Manchester United or Chelsea or any of the top clubs in Europe. He could have played for Barcelona at one point. He was the best left-back in the world during that 2013-14 season. He could have gone, he could have earned three, four times as much as that he was in in an Everton football club. He could have won all of the trophies that he wanted to win, whether it be leagues, Champions Leagues. He could have played consistent Champions League football, but he didn't. He chose to stick with Everton football club. And there was a very, very important quote as to before Leighton Baines joined Everton and I think it was Roy Keane come out and said it and Roy Keane was I think manager of Sunderland at the time and he was after Leighton Baines when he was playing for Wigan um, and he, you know, he come out and interviewed Roy Keane a few years back and he said he spoke to Leighton Baines about a potential move to Sunderland and Leighton Baines was you know happy to move there but one quote he said and, and he said Leighton Baines turned around to me and said but if Everton come in for me I'll be going to Everton because I am an Evertonian and Leighton Baines has put that blue shirt on for 13 years and has been one of the best servants I have ever ever seen in an Everton shirt. It's absolutely criminal that that man has never lifted a trophy with Everton Football Club and it, it really, really upsets me that he's never lifted the trophy with Everton Football Club. He has to be one of the, if not the best footballers to ever play the game to have not lifted the trophy. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you thank you for everything over the years the worldy goals you know from the free kick against Newcastle to the two free kicks against West Ham United to the goal against Leicester just six months ago showing that even at 35 years of age you can still play at the highest level but obviously listen you have to respect Leighton's decision Leighton has obviously sat down with his family and decided that <clears throat> For whatever reason, whether it be fitness, whether it be injuries, whether it just be wanting to go and spend a you know um, a few years you know chilling with his family and traveling the world whilst he can before he settles down and and sort of stays at home, that might be his decision. And you know what? Nobody can be unhappy with with Leighton Baines's decision. Yes, it's disappointing because I think he still has a massive part to play or could have had a massive part to play in this football club. He's certainly good enough to have been a, a player that features you know next season. He's still got the quality. He's still got the ability. We've seen it today in his last appearance in an Everton shirt, throwing in last ditch tackles to you know to to deny Bournemouth from scoring another goal. If he wasn't there, they'd put that away and it'd have been four one and it'd have been a real embarrassing defeat. But Leighton Baines is there showing he's still got the quality. But you have to respect his decision. He's obviously obviously made it, you know, with him and his family and Carlo Ancelotti's come out and he said that, um, you know, Leighton's been a fantastic uh, player for the football club, a, a true Everton legend and that he hopes he can be involved in some form you know, in the future, if it's not um, on a playing level, which obviously it won't be, hopes that he'll be involved in a coaching level. And obviously we don't know what Leighton's future will hold and we don't know whether he'll continue on at the club as a coach and do his coaching badges, etc. But I would certainly like to hope so because I think he'd be a fantastic figure to have around the football club. He is a fantastic figure to have around the football club. He's brilliant in the dressing room. He'd be a real role model for the younger players coming through to look at and, and really, really aspire to, to, to hit the levels that he hit in his career because he absolutely, listen, he was one of the best players I've ever seen in an Everton shirt, technically 
could even be the best player I've ever seen, I've ever seen in an Everton shirt and, and it truly is saddening that he's leaving the football club I just wanted to do a quick video to say thank you thank you so much for everything that you've given to for that blue shirt not only for the 13 years of service but for the goals the assists I think he's the, he still um, holds the record of the defender who's been involved with the most goals in Premier League history Um but not only that, the times when you could have left to Manchester United and you turned around to David Moyes and you said, nah, fuck off, I'm staying at Everton, to the times where you could have joined various other clubs and you said, no, I want to stay at Everton, I'm an Evertonian. Um, and for not only all of that, but for being an absolute Everton legend, I will not be told by any Everton fan whether, you know, some are questioned, whatever, I will not be told by any Everton fan that Leighton Baines is not an Everton legend. He is an absolute legend of this football club and he deserves every single minute of spending time with his family and of his retirement. I hope he has a fantastic retirement um, and thank you ever so much for everything you've given to this football club. It's a disappointing day, not only because Everton have been swatted off the park by a, a Bournemouth side that, you know, I think have they been relegated? I don't know. I'm not really asked, but um, it's also a disappointing day because Leighton Baines has played his last, last ever game in an Everton shirt and unfortunately he only come on for a matter of, what, 20, 30 minutes. I would have liked to have seen him start, but again, like I said, I'm not going to blame anybody because as far as we know, that decision mightn't have been made by Leighton until after the game. So, yeah, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you. I'm sure the comments will be flooded with appreciation for Leighton Baines. Truly is an Everton legend, the best left-back I've seen at Everton and I know some, you know... Um, People who may have seen the 85 team and maybe a little bit older, you know, might have an argument, but I, I don't care. He is the best left back I've ever seen in Everton shirt. He's the best left back the Premier League has ever seen, and he is a true Everton legend and a true Everton giant. So, yeah, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Leighton Baines. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you so, so much for everything you've given to Everton Football Club. Um, and yeah, it's a sad, sad day, but you know what can we do what can we do it is it is but yeah thank you very much um leave all your appreciation for letting in the comment section down below as well and yeah an everton legend an everton icon and he truly truly is an evertonian thank you very much Leighton. and um and yeah sad to see you go but hopefully like carlo said you can be involved in some form in the future thanks for watching